dear friends today we will be doing the brief history of punjab for the pcs aspirants it will be helpful both in preliminary as well as in mains history of punjab is a vast history today i'll be giving you the brief points of the punjab history right from the beginning if we take the indus valley civilization in indus valley civilization harappa which is very close to lahore on the bank of the river parushani or ravi was one of the capitals of the indus valley civilization there are number of sites which are in punjab of indus valley civilization during the vedic period most of the vedic literature was compiled in the region of punjab the famous battle of 10 kings was fought on the bank on the bank of the river parushani or river ravi there is a lot of references about the punjab in the vedas and the other literature lot many rishis lot many poets they visited this land of punjab kutalya a popular scholar he all the way came from patliputra and studied in takshila which was a part of punjab in the takshila university later on he was a professor or acharya in the takshila university so punjab was very important from the education point of view no doubt geographically it was very important it includes the lot many passes like the khyber pass the gomal pass these passes were used by the traders and later on by the invaders during the 4th century bc alexander defeated porus a very important ruler on the bank of the river bias that part was also in punjab after that mauryas chandragupta maurya he invaded the, all this area and snatched from the greeks and made it a part of punjab part of the mauryan empire punjab was a frontier province for the mauryas ashok whom we call the ashok the great was the governor of takshila for many years kanishka had his one of the capitals in kandhar the gandhar school of art developed during his period not many central asian tribes visited india and number of them they settled down in india particularly in punjab and most important among them was the kushanas about whom many scholars says that they had their capital at jalandhar and even the scythian tribe they merged in our society the gupta period samudra gupta referred this area during the time of harshvardhana we are having a reference of hyun song who visited the capital of harshvardhan thaneshwar and stayed there for many years and speaks very high of this area after harshvardhan it is the muslims period began during the muslim period arabs penetrated in 
Punjab. The most important religion in Punjab at that time was the frontier of Punjab that was Buddhism. It was these people who gave the name to Punjab as a Tabri Hind. In the 11th century, Mahmud Ghaznavi attacked Punjab and at that time one Hindu Shahi dynasty was ruling over here. This Hindu Shahi dynasty produced Jaipal, Anandpal, Sukhpal, the brave rulers who fought against Mahmud Ghaznavi. It was during the time of Mahmud Ghaznavi, one scholar who visited along with him, that is Al Bruni, he compiled one book, Tahikik e Hind or Kitabul Hind, in which he for the first time mentioned the name Punjab. After that, there were series of attacks by the Muslims on this area. In the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th century, various people, the slave dynasty, the Khilji dynasty, the Tughlaq dynasty, the Lodhis and the Sayyids, they ruled in this part of India. During the time of slaves, the capital of the slaves, the first king, Qutbuddin Abak, his capital was Lahore. It means Punjab had a very strong say in the Indian politics. After that, he built Delhi as the capital. The later kings built Delhi as the capital of India. During a time of slaves, then Khiljis, lot many Mongols attacked India. They try to loot, try to devastate the country. But it is the people of this area, they faced them. During this, these periods, these centuries, two movements began in this part. One was a Sufi movement, a very popular movement, which no doubt originated in Persia or Arabia, but it but it it had a strong hold in Punjab. The famous Sufi saint Sheikh Farid is very popular among the people of India. Large number of his shlokas are included in the holy scripture of the six that is Guru Granth Sahib. Then. Another movement was Bhakti movement. Kabir, Ravidas, Namdev, Dhanna, and finally the first Sikh Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji. They were the pioneer of the Bhakti movement. And they popularized the Bhakti movement in northern India. It was a socio-religious reform movement. It was a revolution in the society and played a very important role in the medieval India. After the 1526, the Delhi Sultanate comes the Mughals. Mughals gave a lot of importance to this area. During the Mughals, there were two Subhas. Subha Sarhant and Subai Lahore. And both these provinces played a very important role in the Sikh history that we'll read in the forthcoming lectures. During the time of Akbar, it was called as the Subai Lahore. After the Mughals, it was the the, the period of the six, the golden period you can call it. Because 
in between 1526 to 17th and the mughal period there are 10 gurus without knowing the 10 gurus and the history of the 10 gurus it is very difficult to complete the history of punjab for that we'll have a separate lecture the last 10th guru guru gobind singh ji spent his last days in maharashtra in nanded and after him a great warrior banda bahadur played a very important role in the history of punjab i will say he was the first indian who revolted against the mughal empire and he was the one who with small number of people attacked sarhand and killed wazir khan the subedar of sarhand this was a very big achievement for the punjabis and the sikhs he went up till lahore and made a first independent sikh state in punjab he died in 1716 right from his death till the rise of maharaja ranjit singh is a is a period when the sikhs faced lot of difficulties it was a crucial period for the sikhs very few scholars mentioned about it this is a period when sikhs shows their bravery they faced the invaders and they had to face lot of massacres during this period the sikhs started living in small groups and those groups were converted into the missiles there were 12 missiles in punjab some of the missaldar some of the sikh leaders important sikh leaders were nawab kapoor singh jassa singh aluwalia jassa singh ramgadia charth singh the grandfather of maharaja ranjit singh it was during this period only the dal khalsa was formed by nawab kapoor singh which was later on led by jassa singh aluwalia this period saw the havoc on the people of punjab nadir shah after nadir shah it was the ahmed shah abdali who attacked more than 10 times on punjab and every time six faced ahmed shah abdali and during this time only the six had to face the two kallu karas of massacres the second kallu kara which was in 1762 after the battle of third battle of panipat where they lost more than 30000 people it was during this period the invaders tries to loot the religious places even demolish the harmandar sahib finally towards the end of the 19th century a great warrior have come up in punjab that is maharaja ranjit singh whom we call the sher e punjab and the next history will do in the part 2 right from maharaja ranjit singh till the 1947